Right, folks, welcome into the new Sanyang Rodius. We are driving what Car Throttle once would have described as, I think it was the ninth ugliest car in the world. The Telegraph in the UK voted it in the same position, and various other car sites would have voted it as the ugliest, without question. Since then, this car has been given a whole new look. It's all new and everything else like that. And to be honest with you, I kind of like the way it looks. It is ginormous. It's absolutely mammoth. There are a lot of rattles within the car. There's a lot of rattles from the bounces on the outside. If I look in the rear view mirror, with every small bump we go over, I can see the third row rattling. I can actually see a rattling going over um, little tiny road imperfections. We're driving a six-speed manual. It is available with a seven-speed automatic transmission. But this six-speed manual, okay, so when you're going from gear to gear, there's very long shifts between each gear. I, I found on a couple of occasions where I should have been going into sixth because of the length between the gear changes, I'm dropping into fourth. Now, in fairness, people who own one of these will get used to how the gears operate very quickly. We've only had this car now for three days. Another thing that I really don't like is this steering. It's extremely light, very unresponsive in my view. And the thing is, usually when, when I'm talking about cars and we look at them, if I find that the steering is light, generally I think, you know, most punters won't even recognize that. We recognize it because we go from car to car all the time. I think this is one of the few cars that you'd actually recognize it in. If I even want to take a tiny little turn here as I'm about to now in the road, I've just turned the wheel pretty much 90 degrees there just to get around a tiny little bend. The interior is fantastic. Sure, it's full of cheap materials, like you'll find that here around the, the seven inch screen is real plasticky and everything else like that. That's not nice. I don't like the way that uh, I've got this tiny little digital display in front of me here and they show real instrument binnacles over here. I'm not a huge fan of that. However, the material on the dash itself, on top of the instrument binnacle is nice, it's soft. These seats are excellently comfortable, as well as that, you've got benches here, or if you want to sit something on it, benches, coffee tables. Uh, now, I'm not recommending that you give your three or four or five or seven year old coffee. However, if they were to have a drink, that's where they place it, and if they want to play around with the toys there, they can. Now, I found with my own children, when they got into the car, they wanted to go into row three, which is back here. It's also on rails. And again, big chunky seats. Now folks, I reckon you could get seven adults in here without any problem whatsoever. Now, if you do happen to be in row three, there's a little button here. I press it, it goes forward, and that turns into a bench, two coffee cup holders there. Or if you want, if you're sitting in the third row right here, Put your feet up there, have a bit of relaxy time. Why not go for a snooze? Other thing is that these seats here recline. So if you do want to go for a snooze in one of these, look at that. That's fantastic, right? So if you want to go for a sleep there, that's great. You've got your armrest here. It's a pity there's no proper armrest on the other side. You've got one USB port, that's great. And you've got one 12 volt charger. What's missing, I suppose, another 12 volt charger to the back or maybe another USB point. But to be honest with you, I'm not really going to complain about that. There is no car more practical in terms of space than this vehicle itself. And it's the biggest plus that the Rodius has. Once again, though, you have to look at that 40,000 or 39,995 price point is that enough to pay for all this extra space when you have the likes of the s max out there the galaxy out there uh, i know the s max is slightly smaller than the galaxy but those type of cars out there that you can go for even the sale lamber which is vast as well these seats here lie flat as well right when i let my kids into the car my daughter got in right i, I sent them out of the car i gave them a key go out and have a look at the car kids my three-year-old and the seven-year-old and my daughter came running into me da da what what da da come out with me what what and she goes, I want you to come out of the car. So I came out of the car. She got in, she stood up and she goes, look, I can stand up in the middle of it. This car is expensive. It's like just under 40 grand. I think it's 39,995 or thereabouts for the six speed manual. And you're going to pay a lot more if you go for that seven speed auto box. Perfect taxi car in terms of that space, especially if you're doing airport runs because of that huge boot, you can get your six passengers in, your, you the driver being number seven. And you can also get this mass of uh, luggage into the rear as well. All these things are great for the taxi driver. For the family person, yeah, if it was a hell of a lot cheaper, I might consider it in terms of if I had extra kids. <laughs> right now, I wouldn't. It's too big. It's too long for me. But somebody who needs that extra space, then yeah, I suppose it would be a goer. 
Anyhow, folks, this is the Car Buyer's Guide YouTube channel. If you click on the little button over here, you will subscribe to us, our logo over there, and you've seen a little subscribe button all through this video. That's if you're watching us on YouTube. So as that, there's various links around the screen. Please give them a glance, have a look at them. We've loads of reviews coming. I think we have the ADA5 and Q5 just released there in the recent week, as well as the Honda Civic, uh, the new one that's just been released to the Irish market. Folks, we'll see you again very soon.